that. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> Welcome back everyone. We're uh, this water heater was replaced in September of 17. This is going this is the second water heater that we've replaced um, due to leaking. And uh, we're gonna check something out here. We're gonna reveal what's going on. So yeah, this is the second water heater we're gonna replace the third water heater um, due to its leaking so I, uh, I knew about these and I really learned about it more recently from um, Mikey pipes Mikey pipes uh, the pipe doctor channel and a huge shout out to Mikey pipes because he, uh, he's very knowledgeable in this trade, <laughs> and um, I, uh, he's the one who got me um, encouraged to do a channel, so a big shout out to Mikey Pipes, and the way that thing is, there's a lot of water in there, that's what it's leaking from, it's from the top, that's crazy. I wanted to check this anode right out and see if this rod is uh, toast. Now let's get this thing pumping out. out of their way please out of the pack out female two of them is it a female Yes. 
puts that one in. This is the third one that I put in. Uh, I think the last time I'll have to look at my books, but I'm thinking the last time I put one in was oh, I was 17, and then about five, six years prior that I put one in. So, but we're gonna we're gonna show you the anode rod right out of the old one, and um, we'll see if that's deteriorated and if it is that was probably the reason why the tank started deep going away i'm gonna take out the anode rod oh yeah look at that look at that that yeah, smells like rotten stinky so there's there's the copper that's why the tank was starting to leak is this is a sacrificial anode rod and uh, yeah so I, I set it up with the customers for this new water heater that I'm going to become, come by every two years and replace this might have to come by every year and do it because this this was put in um, yeah about every two years so I put that in in uh, September of 17 and it was leaking you guys seen it leak and it was leak it looked like it was leaking from up here um and i don't think it was leaking from my joints it was leaking from up here this looks a little crusty i mean it could have been but all right so yeah um this is why these sacrificial anorads need to be replaced every couple of years and uh like I said, I, I owe all this to Mikey Pipes at the Pipe Doctor because he, I knew about these, but after watching his videos, he uh, really it really struck home that these need to be replaced. So shout out to My Mikey Pipes. Thank you. All right, man, you guys know what to do. Like and subscribe if you're not already. And uh, if you got any value out of this content, make sure you smash smash the thumbs up button. And if you're the one who's smashing that thumbs down, do that twice, that'd be great. See you on the next one.